Well, it's time for a little test here. We're asking, what's your retirement IQ? Find out with the help of one of Omaha's premier financial advisors, Daryl Bryant. Daryl is the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies and hosts Retirement Strategies Radio on KFAB. Daryl is here. You're going to put us to the test here this morning a little bit, Daryl. Hey, Darryl. good morning. Well, you set, first of all. You're the first guest. On love the set. Couch. Love the set. New, like new theme song, uh -huh. right? So, yeah, you got to like this. Got the. I thought this was a futon, but I've been corrected. This is not a futon. <laughs> I wish it was a futon. <laughs> I said if, if I had a futon in college, if it looked anything like this, man, I would have had high style. I wouldn't know the difference. So. Okay, uh, we're going to play fact or fiction here. So let's okay. get to the first one. The first one is, uh, let's see what it is. It's, it's uh, traditional IRAs, right? You defer taxes until you begin to withdraw money money, fact or fiction? <clears throat> fact. Well, yeah. So uh, the idea with the traditional IRA was, it was that we would put a small amount of money in a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We would have a nice tax deduction and we would grow our dollars all the way until retirement where we would hope that we would have a lower tax bracket, uh, which uh, most people do not have a lower tax bracket now going into retirement. But yes, you do defer the tax until you start withdrawing the money. You must leave those dollars alone until you're 59 and a half. When you're 70 and a half, you have to start taking what we call your RMD, required minimum distribution. And you can count on that being roughly 3.8%. There's a nice formula for it, but probably mm -hmm. about 3.7, 3.8% of the value when you turn 70, you're going to want to calculate that and say, hmm, that times 3.8% is going to be X, and that's going to mm -hmm. be your first year's withdrawal. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, we've got another one. Okay. Right, you, if you're keeping track at home, we have, or, or maybe you're just like, I need help. We'll give you Daryl's number at the end of the visit. <laughs> Our second fact or fiction. Once I hit age 62, mm -hmm. I should begin drawing Social Security. This is going to be a big one for a lot of folks. You know that. Yeah, that would be probably not. Mm -hmm. uh, we would really encourage people to wait. To, you want to postpone your uh, Social Security until you actually need it. Mm -hmm. um, it's very tempting to pull your Social uh, at age 62, but listen, if you don't need it, the future income it will have grown by 7 or 8% per year, mm -hmm. right? So just between 66 and wow. 70, that's a 32% increase for having postponed. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to uh, make a case that, wait a second, if I pulled those dollars in and I actually saved them, which most people don't, but if you did, then we could begin to make a case for going ahead and taking those dollars mm -hmm. uh, today. There are concerns, too, that, you know, with Social Security Administration having problem and all that kind of thing, yeah. go ahead and get your money while you can. Do you trust yourself more than you trust the administration? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you in particular, yes, especially. Right. Uh, let's get to the next one, fact or fiction. Having this accumulation plan is the same as a distribution plan. No. Uh, uh, accumulation phase would be inherently different than uh, what we would call decumulation or income generating time. So when you're accumulating, uh, certainly we want a nicely diversified portfolio. There are a variety of uh, uh, methodologies uh, that we can use to um, to invest. But once we get ready to retire, we're looking for income generally, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a few characteristics. Safe harbor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. dividends, interest, Okay, we're looking for income here, and uh, and a uh, guaranteed uh, form of income that you can't outlive would be another component that you'd That's probably huge. be seeking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have another. It's a big deal. I feel like we're peppering you with questions. I'm here, ready. But Do you, it. I know you've got the answer. Well, that's why he's you know, here, right? Uh, fact or fiction? Having multiple retirement accounts is better, and so we've got a few examples there. 401ks, IRAs is better than consolidating the accounts in an IRA. Um, yeah, uh, in other words, do we want to just keep everything separate and scattered about, mm -hmm. uh, thinking that we're more diversified, or should we consolidate and make it a little bit easier to manage? Right. Okay, key phrase. Mm -hmm. So if, um, it depends. If, if you have, we want to always examine fees. We don't want to make a lateral move, but it certainly, uh, in other words, why are you moving these dollars? Well, because I think I can have better management. I think I can lower my fees, et cetera. Mm -hmm. All that should be demonstrable. There, sh there should be some economic benefit before we make a change. However, I'll make a case that it would be easier to manage manage your finances moving forward with your RMDs, required minimum distributions, all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you have it in one central location, that doesn't mean that you can't have several investment disciplines, right, tactical, buy and hold, dynamic type investing, et cetera, that uh, it, all within that same portfolio, mm -hmm. right, you can have a number of different investment um, ideas, okay, mm -hmm. uh, tactics, yep. um, even in one portfolio. So don't worry about that part. Makes sense. Okay, fact or fiction, buy and hold always wins. <laughs> Does anything always win? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> right. Okay, so there are three 
primary types of investment uh, strategies. There's buy and hold, mm -hmm. as you just mentioned. That's when you put a portfolio together and you just hang in there and hope it does you well. Sit on, right? you yeah, sit on you just a long time. let it do what it's going to do. And uh, the next would be dynamic, where you've done the same thing, but you're, then you're going to uh, occasionally rebalance that to bring all the little slices of the pie back mm -hmm. into where you originally wanted. That'd be dynamic, right? A little step up from buy and hold. And then thirdly, there would be tactical where we're looking at economic data points mm -hmm. and we're making changes every month or two based on what's going on economically. Well, guess which one works every single time? The what? None uh, of them. None of them. Okay, I didn't want to say right. anything and be wrong. Right. Yeah. It's got to be customized for each individual. On well, the time. here's the thing. If you can work with somebody who is educated in all three, mm -hmm. then we can have all three in your portfolio mm -hmm. and take advantage of, okay, cover all, all three yeah. bases and generally uh, see something that's up in value at any mm -hmm. given time. Well, I, hear people I hear people talk about that all the time. I just mm -hmm. put my retirement money in an account. Right. I don't even look at it, right? Mm -hmm. And then. 20 years later, mm -hmm. uh, they yeah. let it accumulate. You want to take it. You want to. You want to do some stuff with that money. Well, we can be a little more tactical than yeah. that, uh, and uh, be a little smarter than that for sure. You yep. brought a giveaway for our viewers today. A report. What What does it entail? I guess what's the benefit uh, of having it? Seven things every. I think it's seven things every investor. Is that what we're giving away this week? I don't think week? it is. What, what do you know about retirement? Oh, what do you know about you know retirement? retirement? Another okay. one. What's funny to me is Daryl, even though he's an he's an Omaha professional, mm -hmm. he has written articles for international um, outlets, and so mm -hmm. you, you're a valued voice in this industry. So you yeah. do a lot of this stuff. Yeah. What does this report yeah. include? Yeah, um, written for Fox and Fortune, mm -hmm. Money, etc. Mm -hmm. um, this one would. What is the one we're giving away today? What do you know? What do you know about retirement? Mm -hmm. What do you know about investing? Yeah. Okay, we have a lot of no. articles out there, as you can kind of tell. <laughs> what do you know about investing? So it, it would be covering these types of things. What do you know about IRAs? What do you know about different types of money management, et cetera? So, yeah, yeah Colin, we'll, we'll get you squared away. We're here to serve the Omaha community. Yeah, what do you know about retirement? 932-2141 is the number you can call. Mm -hmm. you got to call within the next 30 minutes to get that free report. A lot of good information. And we there. always say this about Daryl. There are there are some great professionals, but really, when it comes to retirement, you want somebody on your side who specializes in retirement, not just in growing money, but sort of that now what question. Mm -hmm. So if you're in that red zone, five to seven years from retirement, consider scheduling an appointment with Daryl. He can make sure that you enter into retirement with complete confidence instead of sort of guessing which is no fun. Yeah. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you. Congratulations you on being Have our very first number one. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on your new Thank set. You. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Guests of the morning.